morning friends and happy vlogmas day seven oh, okay <laughs> i'm feeling overwhelmed it's hit me it has finally hit me and i have so very much to do and seemingly so little time in which to do it all this is the holiday season and even though i have thoroughly enjoyed this month so far all of the tedious to do's have been stacking up and have caught up with me as many of you have reminded me when you are overwhelmed the best thing you can do is just take one thing at a time step by step and somehow some way it all gets done this is true if you look back at your life i'm sure there are so many times when you've been overwhelmed if you're a student it's with finals and essays and things of that sort and it just feels suffocating and yet somehow you are where you are right now you got through it you did it when you're working especially at the end of the year you have all these projects due and all this reporting on the previous year it's like chaos that you somehow have to wrap up in a tidy bow <laughs> and then there's all the personal things like taking care of loved ones making sure that they feel loved and also taking care of yourself and making sure you have rested keeping the house tidy, making sure your car registration is up to date, annual dentist, doctors, and eye appointments, so on and so forth. <laughs> By existing, you are incredible. Being a human being requires so much maintenance. It's amazing that we can function. So yes, <laughs> I am feeling the holiday season overwhelm, and when I look at the list of things I need to do before Christmas, the most pressing of them all is gifts for friends and family. Because I live so far away from my family, I have to buy gifts and mail them by tomorrow, December 13th for me, today for you. Yeah, I ideally have them all purchased, wrapped, and mailed out by tomorrow, and I am only like a quarter of the way through my Christmas shopping so far. But I have today always we have today and today i am going to do the best that i can to get my christmas shopping done stationery books candles tea surprise surprise <laughs> monsieur rue would like to say hello hi rue so friends we are going to spend the day exploring the city appreciating all the hard work that small business owners put into the holiday season and hopefully soaking up some merriment <laughs> and cheer or at least feeling much less overwhelmed by the end of today hopefully if you have not already go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of tea i'm gonna go to a cafe and get some tea in the middle of the day um grab your coziest of comfy blankets let's go buy some gifts It is such a cute stationery shop with really good quality goods. They like to sell 
things made in the US, Japan, um, Scandinavia, and Germany. Ah, oh, just so many good things. And while I was there, I got some gifts for guys, actually. I don't want to specify exactly who, but I have some guys in my life that are particularly difficult to shop for. But I think everybody can appreciate a good notebook or put a good notebook to use. So I got a few of these really nice roll bun. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but they're just little notebooks and they have nice paper and it's grid style. I also got this really cute mini sketchbook. It just looks so indie, if you will. I really love the size of it. I love the color. I love the gold font. And then this was really, really cool. It's a calendar, but it is a poster and it's giant and it goes on the wall and it's the whole entire year on the wall and I thought it would be really good for say Landon's dad for example who is really into cycling and he has these cycling goals and races that he likes to work up to so it would be cool for him to be able to check off exercises or plan for the year so yes these are my guy gifts I hope that they like them guys can just be so difficult to shop for but I think no matter what, they can at least use these things. And I do so highly recommend shopping at Little Atsu. They have a shop online so you can order from them. They are a small business, so I don't know how long it'll take to ship things, but I've never not been satisfied with the quality of whatever I get from them. Next, I'd like to shop for the women in my life, and I'm going to go to a black-owned boutique in Portland called EcoVibe. They have a wide variety of things from home decor to clothing to art to body care and everything in between, so I think I'll have a lot of luck there. <laughs> Vibe was a massive success and I wanted to share a few gifts with you guys. I was so excited when I found this Meadowland Vanilla Maple Simple Syrup. So this is basically like um, syrup that you put in lattes or hot cocoa. It also suggests uh, a drizzle over vanilla ice cream which I think sounds amazing and it's made locally in Bend, Oregon so this is just cute. <laughs> The camera fell over. <laughs> I just thought this was cute and another gift that people will likely use. Most people like coffee and if they don't like coffee they usually like hot chocolate. So, And if they don't like hot chocolate they usually like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I also found this absolutely adorable mug. I love round mugs. They're so nice to hold. I guess most all mugs are round. I mean like Whatever this shape is, it's just so cozy. Um, this is a Christmas present for Randy. I hope she doesn't watch this video. I don't think she will. I'll tell her not to. And that's Eco Vibe. I'm feeling pretty hungry and I'm definitely in need of a pick me up. So I thought we could go to my favorite cafe in Portland called Dragonfly Coffee House. It's so cozy, especially this time of year. It's Landon's birthday on December 18th, and we've been using these two disposable cameras the past two years, and they've been filled up for quite some time. And so for his birthday, I decided to secretly have the rolls um, printed. And it's just the craziest feeling looking back at these pictures. 
they're so beautiful and there's so many really special memories. I can't believe it. He's going to love this. Oh my gosh, you guys look at this picture. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's Landon, Rue, and me at the beach. <laughs> I'm on Landon's back. Such a happy day. I do so highly recommend giving people disposable cameras as gifts because it's a lost art having pictures developed and it's actually so special. There's something so special about holding a picture in your hands and capturing fleeting moments because you can't take a hundred pictures of one thing. You just have that one picture and you have no idea what it looks like until it's developed. It's such a fun thing. lovely break at Dragonfly Coffee. The most amazing thing happened, you guys. I was in line and the girl ahead of me ordered exactly what I normally order, which is an oat milk latte with nut and maple flavoring. So good with half the amount of sugar. It's very, very specific. And I don't believe that that specific drink order is one of their like popular menu items but she ordered it and I said, oh my goodness, that's exactly what I order. And she said, no way. And we started talking about all the different syrups and flavors. Then she turned to the cashier and was like, you know what, I'm gonna get hers too. And she bought me my drink. <laughs> I almost started crying. I just love it when people are kind to each other and that was such a random act of kindness. It made me so happy and so, we talked while we waited for our drinks and I asked her for her number and I hope that we become friends. Her name is Lauren and I plan on texting her, perhaps tomorrow, <laughs> we'll see. I've had a really successful day shopping wise. There is one more store that I'd like to stop in, perhaps two, it's 3.30 and a lot of stores close at five so we'll see how I do with timing. Ooh, this one store has like so many amazing candles. So just one or two more stops and then we'll be home. I am back home and oh goodness, do I need a steaming cup of tea. So let's have a look at what today's advent calendar tea is. All right, looking for 12. I don't think it's on this side. Let me see, there we go. Belgian mint. That sounds incredible. <laughs> These are actually so hard to get out of their box. <laughs> Alright, let's read these details. 
is an herbal tea, rich dark chocolate, and cool peppermint, a classic dessert pairing. Oh my goodness, that sounds incredible. Amazing, actually. I really like that tea. I wanted to show you guys the last little bits that I picked up at the last two stores. So, I got a couple of these candles. They're Oregon scented and oh, I just love them. Honestly, it smells like Christmas tree in a candle or frosted white birch. Just very forest specific or rather Pacific Northwest forest specific. Are you joining me? I'm so, so excited about this. There's this tea company in a town called Hood River, which is in the Columbia River Gorge, and they have a warm hugs tea, which contains cinnamon, chamomile, and peppermint, and I sampled some, and it is absolutely incredible. Quite literally the definition of a heartwarming cup of tea. So I bought a couple of these as gifts. I didn't buy myself one. That was a big oversight. And then if you have any friends with babies, I have found that babies slash toddlers really enjoy pop-up books. I mean, a lot of times they end up tearing the pop-up out of the book. However, I um, have seen friends' babies really, really enjoy having a pop-up book read to them. So I have a friend who has an eight-month-old and he might enjoy this, if not this year, then definitely next year. I thought this would be a nice gift. And my Christmas shopping is complete. I'm feeling really, really grateful for so many reasons. I'm feeling so grateful to live in Portland and to have access to such beautiful stores. I'm feeling immensely grateful to be able to shop at small businesses. They do tend to be more expensive. I'm feeling grateful to just be able to afford to buy my friends and family Christmas gifts. To be totally transparent with you, last time I went to Little Atsu was about two years ago, pre-COVID, the last time I was physically in the store, and the only thing I could afford to buy there was a pencil. It's not insanely expensive, I just didn't have a lot of money. So it is not lost on me, the privilege that I'm currently experiencing to be able to go to these stores and buy these gifts. And it feels amazing to be at this place in life and to come home to this. The gift of my life is definitely not lost on me. And of course, the fact that I got to share this with you guys, the fact that there are literally people all over the world interested in my life. Mm. I probably say it far too often. I don't ever want it to lose its meaning. I just need to convey to you how extremely grateful I am for you. So a thousand times over every single YouTube video, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for making this, for making today possible. So now that I have completed my Christmas shopping, I'm going to wrap the gifts and prepare them to be mailed tomorrow. I am going to put on a cozy Christmas movie and just enjoy the rest of the night wrapping these gifts and mailing them. Just to conclude, give whatever you can to whoever you can this holiday season. You do not have to be extravagant in your gift giving, though if you can afford to be, that is perfectly acceptable as well. There's no right or wrong way to be during the holiday season. There's no right or wrong way to give. It's just whatever's best for you. I think all that people really care about is thoughtfulness. Sometimes that's in the form of a physical gift that they really needed or wanted or are surprised by and love. And sometimes that's just letting them know how amazing they are to you. Just whatever you can do is the best. Think about it in reverse. Think about 
you and how you receive gifts and if you have a friend or family member who doesn't have a lot of money like you wouldn't mind at all if all they did was write you a letter or make you some sort of craft like you would be overjoyed and that is how people feel about you so drop any pressure or guilt around gift giving and if you are someone who can afford to i would like to encourage you to support small businesses especially those diversely owned seriously your gift purchases make a world of a difference for these small businesses that being said i know that they are oftentimes pricier and again just do the best you can it is the thought that counts okay thank you friends i'll see you tomorrow for you to use this story in your videos. Um, I just wanted to share a story about Christmas time and um, something that really moved me. I am a mom to a little girl named Caroline. She's four years old. When she was born, she was diagnosed with a lung disease called cystic fibrosis. And then when she was two, she was diagnosed with autism. It's really hard for us this time of year um, to take her places because of her lung disease and her social anxiety um, because of germs being everywhere. So sometimes um, the Christmas season can feel a bit lonely and isolating, but I wanted to share that um, we recently took Caroline to an outdoor event where she could meet Santa and there was music and crafts and everything was outside. So we went and she had an amazing time and she danced and she played and she met Santa and it just brought so much joy to my heart. Um, but what actually happened that was the most magical part was afterwards, about two weeks after, I received a letter in the mail and it was from the group of people who hosted this event outside for kids. I never met them or introduced myself to them, but they said that watching my daughter Caroline play um, and enjoy what they had provided brought them so much joy that they just felt led to take a donation for our family, for her, and they had no idea that she was struggling with her health, that we had medical bills to pay, looming hospital visits to think about um, saving up for. They just did it and were led to do it on their own. And it was just this magical, magical gift. Um, and it just was one of those moments where you remember that the season is magical um, and that people are good. And I just wanted to share that. Um, so I just also want to thank you, Morgan, for this community. I've loved watching your videos, and I find as a mom to a child who has a lot of needs, it truly just makes me feel joy and peace to be able to relax with you in the evenings. Merry Christmas. <laughs>